I'm about to beep over here. <laughs> Are you right? Meeple Mayhem. This is our channel all about board games, board games and more board games. In today's video we thought we'd get in the Christmas spirit and do our <laughs> and do our top five stocking filler games. I'm against this Christmas spirit <laughs> in November but we'll carry on. <laughs> We're only like five Sundays away so people have started Christmas shopping earlier this year. Okay it's because everyone's poor. <laughs> so we thought this would be a good video so these, we've assumed that these will fit in a stocking. We've assumed, we have assumed that they will fit in a stocking. Most of mine will fit in a stocking. I think most of mine. If one it had a big them, stocking. One of them, it just didn't fit. Well, it did with a squeeze, but I think I would have broke one of the children's stockings. But, mm, I was, mm. but they do have small ones. So I'm thinking on a normal, normal sized one, it would fit. Yeah. Why are you doing that? Oh. So the first, this is part of two videos. Oh, are you going first? This is part of two videos. Yeah. We're doing the top five stocking fillers and they'll start with sort of adult and then the other video yeah. we'll release will be a family version for kids stuff. Yeah. So you go first? No, you go first. You can go first if you want. It's always on disgraceful list, so. Okay. Oh, we don't know each other's lists yeah. as well. So this is all a shock to us. It's always a shock to me, but. Yeah, this is uh, we've both done five each, so yeah. we shall see. This, yeah. this was hard. So my number five, one second, I removed it. So my number five is Love Letter. Why are you putting that face? My number five is Love Letter. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said we were going to have really different lists. No, 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 that's a good, that's a good, that that's a, a good, good game. game. And a stocking filler wide, that's a yeah, pocket filler wide. That's, it, uh, that is perfect. We've taken this game everywhere. Like, it's been camping with us, it's been abroad and on, camp on holidays and travelling up the mountains. It's been everywhere. And yeah. it's a perfect little stocking filler. Such a fun game. It comes in a cute little bag. Yeah. Um, good we at two, two, three, four, five, six, good at however many players. Yeah. Really yeah, good. Yeah, I played yeah. this in the queues while we were at a festival waiting to get in places. I just played it on the floor of my daughter. Yeah, and there was people like asking like, oh, what, what it was, they that? want to yeah. join in. Um, yeah, Love Letter is like a really simple game. You literally have one card, and then you draw a card, play a card, and it's as simple as that. And it's all about sort of trying to knock each other out, be the last person standing, or have the highest card at the end. Um, you could probably play with a standard deck of cards. Yeah, you could. Yeah, eight does this, blah, blah. Yeah. But yeah, really, really good. Yeah, we have another version, um, the Princess Princess version, and it's yeah. just, yeah, just a really good game. And yeah. It's a, yeah, really good game. So that's both our number five. <laughs> so, um, yeah, sure. that one is also one that um, you could get for children too, although. The yeah, children, yeah, our daughter plays yeah, that outside. We, we yeah, play with everyone. We, we but play yeah. it as a family as well, but it's. I haven't put that in my family list. No, I haven't put it in my family list as well, that's why I thought I'd I'd do mention class it as now. Game. Yes, yeah, so do I. But yeah, it's a great game. Do your number four then, because that is my number five. Oh yeah, okay. So my number four is Happy City. Not the same as you? No. Okay, okay that's good. Happy City, that's a good one. It's a good one, isn't oh. it? It's a nice small box, but it's quite a bigger game. Like yeah. You wouldn't expect that big of a game to be no, in that good. small of a box. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I thought that would be a great one. It's something that I really enjoy or yeah, it's like a city your builder, own little, your own little like yeah, city little builder. City. You're sort of just picking different things and trying to get bonuses, and yeah, really good. Game. Again, this is one that we do play as a family with the children, but I think it would probably be play better maybe with adults. Would you say? Yeah, I more, more, yeah, more thought into it. The kids thought, are, more deep, um, yeah. The kids sort of just. But the artwork they like to build the cool buildings. There's a dinosaur park. There's like they a like dinosaur theme park, and, and yeah, that's what they go for. More not thinking strategy wise yeah. on the points yeah, and yeah, the yeah. stuff that gives you the bonus. But it's uh, yeah, the artwork is really cool mm. in it. Um, yeah, and I really enjoy that game. Good game, good game. Right, my number four is a new game to us that you've only recently really learned how to play because you were terrible at it before. This isn't in my list. Scout. It's quite no. a new game. It's hot on the market. I think a lot of people are talking about it. It's a really good game. Again, it's something you can play with a deck of cards, but basically you're sort of trying to play cards to beat each other, and the person who plays a card better than the last one gets to take them cards for money. But the best thing about this is that when you pick up the cards, they you, you can't change your hand around to make combos. So anytime you put stuff in, it sort of 
and trying to lose stuff to make stuff come together and it's just really really fun really yeah. simple again it's in a box this big the cards are like they have different numbers on top, top and, and bottom, bottom yeah. so you get to choose whether you want to have like when you first get your hand dealt yeah, you, you look at it and you decide down, if you're yeah. on the upside or the downside and also when you scout cards you can, you can then have flip either them numbers around. so yeah this but, game um, and I do like it and it's growing on me now but at first I didn't have a clue what I was This is doing. an amazing stocking filler. I think you could teach anyone to play this no. as well. I wouldn't know. Well it was very difficult for me to learn and I've played some of That's your games. fault, not the game's <laughs> fault. Yeah but you're saying this and you can teach anyone. You could teach, I could teach anyone to play this. Well I struggled with it. <laughs> no, no, she, no, I, I don't know why but... <laughs> It's the same symbol no. that I. No. <laughs> I don't know how you got a license. <laughs> you say that every day. Right, so my number four was Scout. Okay, my number three, three was. This is the one. This is the one that. You didn't know it would fit. Yeah. It's like Art Nova or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> so ridiculous. It half fit in, in this small. This small stock in here. Not, I mean, I mean, width wise, not length, okay? <laughs> so, my number three is Red Cathedral. What? That doesn't fit in a stocking. It, it hung out of that. It, I had to squeeze away, it would have stretched the sides, but that is a tiny stocking, so I think if you've got a normal okay. size or bigger okay, one, that's a good game, Red man. Cathedral would fit in a stocking. That's a good game. Don't hold me to it. And uh, that that's is my number game. three. Uh, again, this is a big board game that's in a it's small, small box. box. Yeah, it's um, a huge board game, like amazing components, has little wooden components and everything. You're basically trying to build a big red cathedral, um, you're sort of dice drafting, but it's a real cool roundel mechanic where you're moving the dice along and you get double points. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of game in a tiny box. a lot box. of game, yeah. Um, this was our like top hidden gem for a while. Yeah, not a lot of people know this or talk about it. It's like it should be spoke about. It's an unbelievable yeah. game. I think the the box size is quite. I throw like, people off. Yeah, you would think it's a little think, twenty minute yeah. game. The box is literally probably this big, and I mean like it is a big box game. Yeah. Something. But then that company does. Um, Devere, yeah. Devere, they do um, Lunar Capital, which yeah, again which is, is a again. big game in a small box. Yeah. So. But that was my number three. You really enjoy that game. My number three is Fort. Okay. I need the games. Yeah. I love this. It's like a little deck builder. It's got amazing artwork. Um, super fun. We played this, I don't know, like 10, 20 times now. We played this quite yeah. a lot now. Again, it's another game that I found really difficult to understand. Yeah, I think we did. We started first. learning that when we first got into board games, yeah. though, and I think we were sort of like a bit rough on the old. Yeah. And it took us so a while. So we did. No, we didn't play it. And then we were sort of like, oh, that was all right. Then we got it out again and we loved it. Yeah. And it is really fun. I think you batter me every time, though. But yeah, it's really cool. You basically, you and your friends, you're, you're getting pizza, you're getting toys, you're, um, you're going to your tree house, you're, there's loads of, all the cards can combo off each other. And then there's a cool mechanic that if any card you don't use, they go in your yard, and the next player can take your old friends yeah. from you and use them. And So you're trying, not, you're trying to use cards to try and not let them go to the other person. Yeah, good game. Yeah, really good And a good, good stocking filler. That's again yeah. a big-ish game in a small box. Yeah, that is, and it's, that's really cool artwork as well. No, mm. I do really enjoy that yeah, game now. that was my yeah. number three thought. Okay, my number two, one second, I'll find it, is a new game to our collection. It's the same as my number two. Is it? Yeah. Um, but it's a new game to our collection, but it is just a two player version of an old Splendor game. Splendor Jewel. Splendor Jewel, yeah. Yeah. I love Splendor, the original version. It's one of my favourite games. Jason only dislikes it because he always loses. Um, Excuse me. And so far, I think Splendor I think Jewel. I Splendor Master. You won once. That's the only one on record. Huh? That's because your phone got sold in that festival. <laughs> the only <laughs> win on Splendour in our, st our no, PJ Stats app is my win. When we were at a festival in the summer, Jason's phone got stolen so I, and we lost all of our BGG stats. Before that, I think I'd won about 50 and he had won at zero. So, but if I pull the stats up now, I'm one And then up. the Splendour Jewel, I think, is going along the same path, isn't it? I, I'm winning on that all the time as well. Right, Splendour Jewel <laughs> is amazing. I, well, I was a bit, we were a bit hesitant to think, like, because Splendour, Splendour plays amazing at two player. I class it as a two player game. We, even yeah. in one of our other videos, I think we've mentioned it's a two player game to us. Yeah. Um, 
But then I'm, I happily play it more a high player count. I've played it on uh, yeah, yeah. Easy, Arena, Arena yeah, yeah, yeah. And with more than two, and it's been fine. Yeah, but I've only played it two. But so it was a two player game anyway. So when they released Jewel, I was a bit like, hmm, what am I going to do with it? So you can make a simplified mode, but it's not. There's three different ways to win. There's a whole different mechanic of picking up chips. It's not just free reign anymore. You've got to sort of work a puzzle out how to pick up chips. Yeah. And yeah, I love it. You get these little uh, like favour tokens for when other people do stuff and you can use them to pick up extra coins. And yeah, it's just really, yeah. really good. Like they've, And again, it's tiny. Because the spender box is massive for no reason. Yeah. For three decks of cards and some chips, it's like yeah, a box this big. Quite a bit and this is like a tiny little box again, and it's really, really good. The artwork's changed a little bit. I've seen a few people moan about, but I'm a fan of anime, so it's sort of changed to sort of an anime-ish style, and I really like it. Um, yeah. But no, yeah, it's really, really, really cool. Where is it? It's up there, behind up you. There. But yeah, no, I really enjoy the game. There's three different ways to win. I don't know if you mentioned that. Yeah, I did. Already, yeah, so, so it's like a it's tiny a little, little box, box now. Yeah. Um, um, it's the same sort of premise, you get three decks of cards and you're trying to get more gems in the first person to get, get 20 points. points as well, the yeah. first person to score 10 points of one colour. Yeah. And the first person to collect 10 crowns. Yeah, it's crowns. Then yeah. 10 crowns. Um, yeah, and it's just, yeah, it's really, really fun. I've really enjoyed it because I've gone off spend a little bit. And it's definitely, um, like, it's, wor it's worth having both. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. So it's not definitely. like you need to... If you've got a yeah, you don't need to They're different enough, aren't they? Yeah, they're different enough that you could yeah. have both in there. Um, um, yeah, so that was both of our both number, number two. So you're number one. I'm intrigued by this now. Well, I'm, I'm starting to think that you're going to have the same number one because I don't know why this wouldn't make it in your list. You're definitely not. And I know what yours one is and I know, I know I mean, it's not in my list. Okay, so my number one is Cactus Town. Oh, no, it's not mine. <laughs> That's what I thought at all. <laughs> what did you think mine was? I thought it was Jaipur. No, see, that, that didn't make it in my list. I didn't want too many two-player games in my list. So yeah, I went with Cactus ones, Town. Though. We have the Kickstarter that's edition, which obviously wouldn't no, fit a in a thing. stocking because it's like this big. Something. But we also have the original just retail edition, which is in a little box. square box, which is one we use to take on holiday with us when we go on the plane um, and don't have space to take the big one. It's an and awesome it's a really cool asymmetric. So everyone is a different faction. So you're like the robbers, the cowboys, you can be can-can girls and you can yeah. be bounty hunters and... You will have your different ways that you like to, you have to, to win. Yeah, to different win ways to win. You basically it's like a board of cards, which is your town, and you're trying to go around it using um, pre-made movement. What's that called again? Oh, what is it? It's like River Dragons, isn't it? Yeah. You, um... What's you, that called? you just draft all your moves out before programming. It's programming. Yeah, you program it. all your moves out first, and you draw them out, and basically. The cops are trying to catch the robbers, the robbers are trying to rob certain banks, uh, the bounty hunters are trying to catch the robbers and drop them off to the police and then escape, and the can, -can girl is trying to clear debt and shoot people. Basically, yeah. something like that. She's and got a duel with two people and she's got to clear off three debt. Yeah, yeah, and you're sort of all racing to do it at once. It's really funny, you're sort of chasing each other down and you're trying to trick each other and other people can get in your way and it's really, really like fun. Your, so your grid of like your town, it's all like face down, so yeah. you don't know. So and as Robert you move and over the, the cards, you have to, yeah. you get to flip and see what that building is. And you all have your like the buildings that you need to go to to pay in off secret, your debt yeah. or to to loot. Um, you have you have them in secret, and then you have to. It's like a game where you got to try and find where that location is on the board. So you're trying to move to flip it to see if that look you need that location. Yeah. Yeah, Someone else can open yeah. it, be on the other side of the board. So then you've got to try and move back round. Yeah. It's just really it's like funny. The kids cycle. really think this is hilarious. Like yeah. it's, it's always pretty close. Like oh, that. cat. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, it's always pretty close and um, it's just a super fun game and like I said, it's another quite a big game in a small box. Like when you've, you've all got asymmetric powers, there's loads of little bits going on, like it is quite a bit of a table space to make the whole town out and it's yes, in a it tiny is, little yeah, box. Yeah, but it does come in a little box which would be perfect for cats joining us now, right. which would be perfect for yeah, a stocking stock. filler. And amazing, we have another little hidden gem. I'm surprised many, that many didn't people. make it in there. It was, it was, I was thought about it. You did think I about did it. I did think about okay. it, yeah. This one you'd never have thought about. Okay. So we have got the big box of this. We don't have the little box of this game. Well, that's cheating. But the little box would be perfect for a stocking filler. Valley of the Kings. Ah, oh, yeah, that would be. So we've got a massive premium box. This is an awesome little deck builder. And the actual little boxes are like this. They're literally tiny. We've yeah. got a massive premium of all the editions because I think there's like four editions in it. Yeah. But yeah, it's a little game. It's a really good deck builder. You're basically in ancient Egypt. You get this pyramid style sort of card drafting. 
and you're trying to basically you don't score any cards unless you in two them. But once you're in two them, they're out of your deck, so you can't use the good cards. And you're trying to sort of set collect, and um, yeah, it's just a super game. We played this once in our local board game shop, and we fell in love with it. And then we got the big premium edition. We've yeah. taken this on holiday with us. We've taught your sister. Yeah. Again, it's a really good game, amazing yeah. game and such a little good little stopping filler. Yeah, a good game in a little box. We like good game in a little like box. That. Yep, and yeah. that is my number one. Valley of the okay, Kings. Okay, so we've done. That is our top five. Yeah, but I don't know, two the same. Yeah, you thought we was going to be a lot more than that. I thought we had none the same. I know, I didn't know. Right, <laughs> good cat. cat. Just stole the show. The cat's still in the show here. Right. Do to the end? Yeah, same. Thank you for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and remember to keep an eye out for our top five family ideas stopping uh, for stocking fillers. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Bye. thanks for watching. Bye.